So today we will be talking about lethal autonomous weapons and what they are. So they ba they're basically weapon systems that are able to select and fire at a target without the intervention of a human. So that seems pretty complex and crazy. So how it works is that the weapon is going to assess the situation in the battlefield and decide if it should attack or not based on the process information that is inputted into the machine. So the weapons, unlike drones that which we've all kind of encountered, so they are not controlled by humans through a remote. Instead, the weapons are programmed to do what the human says to do. So the weapon can basically have a mind of its own. So that's why it's pretty complex, because there is no human running it. Instead, it's just a programmed algorithm that will say if the person dies or not. The main reason and benefits decreases the need for soldiers on the battlefield and therefore saves lives. Ability to detect and attack targets with greater speed precision than weapons directed by humans, as well as pain, hunger, exhaustion, and extinct for self-defense and emotion would not influence autonomous weapons. Main reason two, disadvantages. It can lead to unnecessary and severe destruction beyond human control. Weather continues, which may cause mal malfunction. Reason three, if it were to happen now, how could it be improved? By making it weatherproof and backing up technology, chip for malfunction cases. Programming could go wrong and robot behavior could change. Potential harm to civilians and moral and even legal legal wrong. If an army of autonomous weapons was used, it could prevent soldier casualties during combat. This would also help take down terrorists with minimal injury to our own soldiers. However, because the limited ability of autonomous weapons to discern between enemies and the innocent, there is a high risk of accidentally injuring innocent people. Finally, the use of autonomous weapons could be hindered in weathered conditions. A destroyed weapon could potentially break down in an area where it may harm people, and it would cost the government a lot of money and trouble. The United States has been developing fully autonomous systems. It's an X-47B aircraft that is being designed to take off, land, and refuel on its own power and would have weapons bays that could be used to make later models serving a combat function. In conclusion, there are many benefits and disadvantages to lethal autonomous weapons. From friendly fire to protecting our troops, there is a fine line between why these weapons are good and bad.